Hey, what's up, guys? Again, it's uh, OC Turbo Joe. Uh, and this uh, video is going to be about tubing up the motherboard, uh, primarily the CPU, VRM, and RAM. And it's already been tubed up. Well, not tubed up, but uh, I already uh, installed some angle fittings, in which I mentioned that I'll be doing a hybrid uh, angle fitting slash acrylic tubing uh, configuration. So the original uh, loop used to be like this, it used to come in from this side, from the red, go this way from out of the uh, VRM to the other VRM block into the inlet here, as you can see the arrows right there, and then it uh, went from through the CPU, I'm sorry, to the RAM this way, and then up to the res. So since it's going to be a, a reverse ATX now, the let me flip it around a bit. Be really careful. It's pretty heavy since I installed the fittings. But uh, yeah, it's going to come up from this way, from the bottom red, uh, up to the uh, outlet of the RAM block. And right now you can see that the uh, this fitting, this angle fitting, is higher than that. So the only way to do it is um, if I were to. Uh, Used a fitting jig. But, um, I have to go like this with a acrylic fitting. See that? How there's like a dual rotary 90, but I've uh, turned it to where it's like a 45 by 45 right here. So it's gonna go down that way like that, and shoot at a 90 degree angle into the first uh, angle fitting on the CPU block. So I've used, the, I've used these as jigs. I'm not sure if I can get the acrylic to bend that way. Might be pretty tough. I don't know if I'm gonna even film it, but anyway. So it's from there. It's gonna come out again, like, like like I said, like this way, like that. So all right, kind of like an S bend, sort of. I go in here, I go through here, and here is kind of offset too. So this is pretty good. It's gonna be a little difficult. So it's gonna be like this. Another one again. Another another one of these. Just like that. Let me stand up here. See that right there? How it's offset. So I'm gonna have to bend one like this too. And then over here, it's gonna be pretty simple. It's a tight bend, but all it is is just a 90 degree. Or something like that. Alright. See that? And then out. And that's going to go to the 120. That's going to be a plain, wide angled, uh, 90 degree bend. So, yeah. Um, here's my acrylic. I already have the slip fitting, uh, slip tube, I'm sorry. And I have like two tubes left. So I had like four of these, I use a bunch of them for uh, Neptune, uh, the original Neptune build. And just like one out of here, I'm probably going to waste this easily just by practicing and then uh, hopefully if I master it well, I have enough for the rest of the build. So uh, yeah, let's see what I can do. Alright, three hours later, wow, um, just for three pieces of acrylic. Uh, anyway, I'm finally done with this part, and this was by far the hardest bend that I've ever done. I mean, I hope I don't have to do any more bends like this ever, but, um, yeah, uh, let me get that fitting, that jig. So, going with that plan of, uh, doing that offset bend, going to that 90, this is the best I could do. Of course, you can't get it to bend like this anyway. But it seems that it's pretty straight. No kinks at all. I got it as straight as I could. And you can see the other offset bend from the CPU block to the uh, VRMs. And then that tight 90. Which was also a bitch to do because it's really tight. And for you to do that while you're heating it up uh, over the heat gun, you got to tug on it. To get the inner diameter as uh, narrow as the slip tubing itself, because if you don't do it, 
if you just bend it just like that, you're going to get a kink. And it's really ugly, see that? That's a stir right there. Piece of shit. But, um, yeah. So, all this, all this scrap tubing is all that's left from that one long one. I have one more, one more left. Hopefully, I mean, right now I got the hang of it. See that shit? Just one. The rest are gone, so it's a good thing I bought extra. But yeah, that's all the fittings. I've got this uh, offset bend pretty close. Not exactly, but just enough to get it nice. See that? If you go to this angle, it's still straight. Everything is all straight. So bend this a bit. Yeah, that's not going to go anywhere. But if you look at it that way, I think it's pretty straight. Same as this one. Yeah. But yeah, <clears throat> I'm glad this part is just done. Um, I just edited out the uh, the whole process of bending, cutting, because all there was was just a bunch of swearing and. A lot of YouTubers are pretty sensitive about swearing. So, uh, you know, fuck, fuck this. <laughs> um, so the next thing is uh, putting an elbow right there to go down. It's actually upside down. It's going to look like this in my build. If I can spin it around. There we go. It's going to look like that. So it's going to come up from the reds up this way. And go down, roll coaster down into this uh, CPU block. And that's the end, by the way. I've never moved it. I've never swapped it around. I just kept it that way. See, I, I, I thought about uh, uh, flipping the block around and get it nearer, to get it nearer to the round block, but I think that would be a big mistake. I think it's better this way. That way I have, like, you know, a leeway of bending. And as you can see, this is fucking hard. So, um, yeah, so that's the end into the block out of the block and then have that offset bin going into the VRM and that's perfect see that it's pretty straight so <clears throat> excuse me you go down here to the VRM up and around and that's straight as well I don't know if it feels a little warm still but uh, anyway but I mean it's cool already this is the last one I did and it's yeah, it's not gonna go anywhere either and I got it as straight as possible. It's still a tight bin. I don't know if I can move it anymore. I don't want to move it now, otherwise it'll kink. But um, yeah, it's cool, but I can still feel some uh, a little heat on there. But anyway, yeah, and this will go out back to the red. This will be a, just a regular wide angle um, acrylic bin, which would be no problem. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my. Uh, Acrylic bending, hybrid, hybrid bending, and um, with the acrylic fittings, angle fittings, rotary fittings, whatever you want to call them. So I think it looks pretty, uh, pretty tight. Um, next up, we'll be throwing this in the case, taking the rest of the reds and the system, and I'd also have to um, finish up the motherboard tray uh, backplate. And some wiring. It's taking a little longer than I expected, but hopefully in the end it'll be worth it. So thanks again for joining me in this part. I'm sorry I didn't do any, um, you know, like uh, I guess the whole progress and all that. But yeah, this is enough. I got to be somewhere today, this afternoon. I got to do stuff. So that was like three, almost three hours wasted already for me. So yeah, I need to get out of the house. Okay, so. Thanks a lot again. Like and subscribe uh, if you like what you see. And there will also be there will also be more videos to come. And see you soon. Bye.